Greetings. Welcome to the Magic Mirror Writing Prompts. By completing 60 prompts, you will be able to write a book. Each prompt leads to the next. While you might wish to start writing a completely original novel on your own, this is often difficult for new authors. After all, Leonardo da Vinci's first painting wasn't The Last Supper. New authors often need an example or plot skeleton to start their journey into writing. If you are concerned that your novel won't be different because you are following the prompts, I wouldn't worry too much about it. There are thousands of movies with the same plot, but which are completely different. Even remakes of the same movie are often dramatically different. The story centers around a magic mirror, which a long-term substitute teacher shows a group of students at Fall Festival. The students gain powers based on what costumes they are wearing when they look into the mirror. One friend is cursed by the mirror instead. Unfortunately, the teacher left with the mirror and the students are forced to search for the substitute. Other students try to stop them because they are afraid they will lose their powers. The hero and his or her friends try to overcome these obstacles and retrieve the mirror to remove the curse on their friend. Now that you have been given a map to start writing your book, you can begin taking the first steps on your writing journey. Chapter 1. Everything is Normal This chapter establishes the setting and main characters for the story. It starts off with the hero arriving at his or her school for Fall Festival. The hero is wearing a Halloween costume and later in the story will gain some type of magic power based on the costume he or she is wearing. For example, if the hero is wearing a wizard costume, he or she might develop magical powers. If the hero is wearing a ninja costume, he or she might gain a ninja's martial arts ability. This also applies to the hero's friends and the bad guys in the story as well. Unfortunately, one of the hero's friends is cursed by the mirror. This curse might take many forms. For example, if the friend thought he or she looked short, he or she might start getting shorter and shorter. If the friend was dressed as Sleeping Beauty, that friend might have trouble staying awake. Prompt 1. The hero arrives at school. Describe the school and the costume the hero is wearing. Is the school large or small? Is it old or new? Does it have the latest technology? Why did the hero choose that costume? Prompt 2. The hero goes to look for his or her friends, but sees a group of bad students. Describe the costumes the other students are wearing. What makes them so bad? Do they get in fights? Are they bullies? Do they steal things? Prompt 3. The hero finds his or her friends. Remember, one of the friends will be cursed. Describe the costumes they are wearing. Are the costumes cheap or nice? Is the cursed friend wearing a ghost, skeleton, or monster costume that could easily turn into a curse? Prompt 4. The hero and his or her friends go to play games and try to win candy and prizes. Describe what they do together. What type of candy do they win? Are the prizes nice or cheap? Are the games fun or boring? How many games are there? The hero and his or her friends visit the substitute teacher's room. Describe why they are scared of her. Is she scary looking? Does she scream a lot or does she never raise her voice? Could she snap at any moment? The only way to become a writer is to actually write. Take the first steps of the journey by completing these writing prompts to start writing your book. Chapter 2, Herald of Change. In this chapter, the students visit the long-term substitute teacher's room. She shows them the magic mirror, which will give them powers based on what they see in the mirror. For example, if they see themselves as being skinny, they might start getting skinnier and skinnier. 
If they see themselves as ugly, they will start to get uglier and uglier. As a writer, you can choose the direction you would like your book to take. Do you want to add a more serious theme in which appearances affect reality? Maybe you want to have fun with the book and make your book more comical. It is all up to you. Prompt 1. The friends visit the substitute's classroom. Describe the teacher and her classroom. Is her room dark or bright? Are there a lot of decorations? Did she dress up in a costume? And if so, what type of costume? Prompt 2. Describe the teacher showing the students a magic mirror and telling them to take turns looking into it. Is the mirror large or small? Does it look old or new? Is it ornate or simple? Is it hanging on a wall or standing on the ground? Prompt 3. The hero's friends take turns looking into the mirror and posing in their costumes. Describe the hero watching the friends. Do the friends seem to be taking it seriously or are they playing around? Does the teacher say any magic words or throw fake fairy dust on them? Prompt 4. Describe the hero looking into the magic mirror and imagining that he or she has power similar to the costume he or she is wearing. Does the hero imagine that the costume makes him or her look strong or fast? Does the hero imagine that he or she has some superpower? Prompt 5. The hero and his or her friends go play more games to win candy and prizes before going home. Describe what they do. Do they eat any other foods, such as hot dogs or pizza? Do they meet anyone else? Do they have a run-in with the bad guys? Writers continue to write. Don't stop now. The best parts of the story are about to begin. In the next chapter, the hero gets to start using his or her powers. Chapter 3. Bestowing the Gift in this chapter, the hero discovers that he or she has gained powers the following morning. The hero might accidentally break something if he or she is super strong. If the hero has some type of magical power, the hero might stop something from breaking instead. The hero practices with his or her new powers before going to school. The hero wants to find out if his or her friends also gain powers and is curious to know what those powers might be. The hero goes to school and discovers that his or her friends did gain powers as well. The friends show each other what they can do. One of the friends didn't show up at school, however. Prompt 1. The hero discovers that he or she has a power when he or she wakes up the next morning. Describe how the hero finds out if he or she had the power. Whatever power you give the hero, make sure that you don't make him or her too powerful. The hero can always become more powerful later in the story. Prompt 2. The hero practices using the power to see what he or she can do. Describe what the hero does and how he or she keeps others from finding out. Did the hero cause an accident like making a lamp fly across the room? Does the hero only practice in his or her room? Prompt 3. Describe the hero realizing that he or she got the power from the mirror and wondering if his or her friends were also given powers as well. Does the hero wish that he or she had worn a different costume? Does the hero wonder how long his or her powers might last? Prompt 4. The hero goes to school looking for his or her friends. The hero wonders what powers they might have been given. Describe the hero's thoughts and actions. Does the hero wonder if anyone else might have been given powers by the mirror, such as the bad guys? Prompt 5. The hero meets his or her friends, and they show each other their powers. Describe what they do. 
Did any of the friends get silly powers? Did one of the friends get an even better power than the hero? What do the friends do to show their powers? You've introduced the characters. Next is the main conflict of the story, namely that the hero has to break the curse on the cursed friend. Don't stop now. Chapter 4, Call to Adventure. In this chapter, the hero finds out that his or her friends didn't get a power. Instead, that friend was cursed by the mirror. The chapter starts with the hero and his or her friends visiting the home of the cursed friend to find out why the student had not gone to school that day. They find out that the friend was cursed at that point and that the student's parents were very worried. The hero and his or her friends decide that they will need to do something to help out their cursed friend. Prompt 1. The hero is worried about one of the friends who didn't come to school. The hero wonders if instead of getting a power, the friend was cursed. Does the friend miss a lot of school, or does he or she never miss school? Could the friend just be at home practicing with his or her power? Prompt 2. The hero and his or her friends decide to visit their missing friend after school. Describe their conversation and what they decide to do. Do they decide to walk there or have someone drive them? Do they take a bus? How do they get to their friend's house? Prompt 3. The hero worries during the day. Describe his or her thoughts and hint at a possible reason why he or she really does have a reason to worry. Did the cursed friend dress like a monster or an animal and the hero is worried that the friend might actually start turning into a monster? Prompt 4. The hero and friends go to the absent friend's house and find his or her parents worried. Describe the house and how the parents appear. Does the house look old or new? Is it big or small? How does the hero know that the parents are worried? Do they look worried? Are they calling doctors? Prompt 5. The hero and friends go to see the friend who was cursed by the mirror. Describe how the friend was cursed, such as having gone as a patient and now actually being sick. Does the friend look thinner? Maybe he or she is getting shorter. Does the friend look different somehow? What makes the hero worried about the friend? Your hero has accepted the quest to help his or her cursed friend. Continue on your quest in writing a book by completing the writing prompts. Chapter 5 Meeting the Mentor In this chapter, the students discover that the substitute teacher has left and taken the mirror with him or her. They try to discover where the teacher has gone, but with no luck. Fortunately, an old man offers to help them after they begin to lose hope. While they wait for the old man to discover where the teacher has taken the mirror, the friends go to check on the cursed friend once more. The friend is even worse off than before. The group of friends know that they must find the mirror soon to remove the curse before it becomes too late. Prompt 1. They look for the substitute and the mirror, but they are both gone. Describe them trying to find out where the mirror has gone. Do they ask the other students? Do they ask the principal or another teacher? Do they try to break into the records room? How do they look for the substitute? Prompt 2. They are out of hope until an old man arrives at the school who is also looking for the substitute. Describe how they find him and what he looks like. How do they feel when they can't find any information about the teacher? How do they encounter the old man? Does he hang around outside or in the office? Prompt 3. The old man tells them he will help them find the substitute. Describe the conversation they have with the old man. How does finding out the old man will help them make them feel? Do the students trust him? Does he explain why he is looking for the teacher too? 
Prompt 4. After the old man leaves, they talk about what to do next and decide to go visit the cursed friend. Describe what they think about and decide. Do they talk about the old man once he leaves or do they focus on other ways to find the information they need? Are they worried about the cursed friend? Prompt 5. Describe them reaching the friend's house and finding the friend's parents very worried about their child. How do the parents look? Are they making phone calls to doctors? Are they crying? Make sure the friends are really worried too. The friends now see how serious the situation is and know that they are the cursed friend's only hope. Take your writing as seriously because its success depends on you. Chapter 6 Preparing for the Journey In this chapter, the students discover where the mirror has been taken by the substitute. They will need to take a journey to reach their destination, however. How long and where they will need to go are up to you. They might only need to visit a nearby part of the city. Perhaps they might need to go to another city. It is even possible they might have to go to another state. How the students will be get there is up to you as well. Be considering these things when you decide what they need to begin their journey. Prompt 1. The friend looks worse than the day before. Describe how the friend looks and the parents being very worried. Does the cursed friend look like they have only a few days left? Make sure the time isn't too short because then they wouldn't have time to save the friend. Prompt 2. They promise to help the friend. Describe what they say and their feelings as well as their resolve to help their friend. Does the cursed friend even hear them make the promise? Does the cursed friend believe that the friends can help? Do they really think they can help? Prompt 3. Describe them going outside and talking about what they saw as well as what they can do to get ready for the journey. Does one of the friends offer to get an older sibling to drive them where they need to go? Or will they try to convince the old man to drive? Prompt 4. Describe what each person decides to do in case they need to go somewhere in order to find the mirror. Does one of their friends offer to bring snacks for the trip? Does one of them offer to bring gas money or provide an excuse to the parents? Prompt 5. The hero goes home and gets ready for the journey the following day since they are running out of time. What excuse does a hero give his or her parents about where they will be going the next day when they go in search of the mirror? The students are ready to begin their journey. You've already started your journey into becoming a writer. Don't give up. Be ready to face any problems that get in your way. Chapter 7. The Journey Begins In this chapter, the hero and his or her friends start on their journey. They will encounter several problems on the way. For example, the vehicle the students are traveling in might have some type of problem. Generally, there are at least three types of these difficulties. I would suggest one of these problems be emotional, such as the hero having to overcome a fear. Instead of fear, the hero might have to overcome anger or jealousy. Either way, the hero needs to grow emotionally. The second challenge I would suggest would be where the hero has to overcome a mental challenge. This might be a puzzle or some other type of problem that requires thought to overcome. If you would like to add a third obstacle, I would suggest it be a physical problem in which the hero has to use speed, strength, or fighting skill to deal with. Prompt 1. Describe the hero and his friends meeting the old man the next day and telling them where to find the mirror. Do they meet before school or do they meet after school? Maybe they don't have school that day. Where do they meet the old man? Prompt 2. 
describe how they trick their parents so they can go find the mirror, such as saying they are going to stay with a friend. Does the hero feel bad about tricking his or her parents? Do the parents believe them or want to speak with the other parent? Prompt 3. The hero and his or her friends start their journey. Describe them having a problem they have to overcome, maybe an interpersonal problem. What type of problem do they have? Do they have a disagreement about how to get there or what to say to their parents? Prompt 4. Describe something else happening they have to deal with, such as a test of thinking skills or puzzle solving. Do they have engine problems and need someone who is smart to fix the car? Do they have to figure out how to trace a phone call or a computer message? Prompt 5. Describe them getting close to their destination and wondering what else might happen and preparing themselves for it. Do they make a plan to deal with anything that might happen? Or do they rush onwards without caring what obstacles they might encounter? Chapter 8, Trials of Resolve The hero and his or her friends have begun their journey. Along the way, their resolve to continue is tested. They must overcome several difficulties along the way. One of these is a conflict with the bad guys they encountered in the first chapter. Another thing you need to consider is if the old man joined them on their journey or if he was left behind. If he was left behind, why did he not join them? If you are worried your book will not be long enough, I would suggest you add more to this chapter. In fact, you might even consider making this into several chapters. Each chapter might be a different difficulty they must face and overcome. Prompt 1. Describe them reaching their destination and seeing one of the bad students they encountered in the first chapter. Which bad guy was it? Are they suspicious at first or do they think it is just a coincidence? What is the bad guy doing when they see him there? Prompt 2. Describe the student telling them that they need to turn around and go back to where they came from or they will regret it. Do they feel tempted to do what he says? Are they scared by his threat or do they laugh it off? What do they tell him? How does he respond? Prompt 3. Describe the hero and his or her friends ignoring the warning. A short time later, they are jumped by the bad students from school. Where are they when they get jumped? Did they expect it to happen or did it come as a surprise? How did the bad guys attack? Prompt 4. Describe the hero and friends barely winning the fight and the bad guys running away after injuring one of the good guys. How did they win the fight? How was the friend injured? And how badly? Were any of the bad guys hurt? Prompt 5. Describe the hero and his or her friends coming up with a plan to deal with the bad guys while they rest and recuperate. Where do they go to rest? What do they do to help the injured friend? What plan do they come up with? Do they consider going back after the injury? Chapter 9. Trials of Resolve In this chapter, the hero begins to lose hope. Everything that could go wrong starts going wrong. Nothing seems to go right for the hero. The bad guy seems certain to win. Friends are injured, lost, or have to leave. This is the darkest time for the hero. It is often at this time that the hero is tempted to quit. Perhaps the bad guys try to blackmail the hero. Maybe they threaten the hero. The hero might even be offered something wonderful if only he or she would give up the quest. Prompt 1. During the night, the hero and his or her friends are attacked again and one of them is kidnapped. Describe the fight. Which friend is kidnapped? Is anyone hurt from either side? Why do the police not come after the fight ends? Prompt 2. Describe how they track down their kidnapped friend. Also, describe the place where their friend is being held captive. 
How do they find the kidnapped friend? Do they track his phone with an app? Does one of the friends have a power that lets them find the friend? Prompt 3. Describe them searching the building and finding the friend in the basement. What was the experience like? Scary and difficult? Do the friends enter the building cautiously or do they rush inside? What does the building look like? Is it new or old? And how do they feel as they go inside? Prompt 4. Describe the friends having another big fight with the bad guys. Another student is injured, but they manage to make the bad guys run away. Were they able to rescue the friend, or do they split up to find the kidnapped friend? Who gets injured, and how badly are they hurt? Prompt 5. Describe how they have to split up with the hero going onward and some of the friends staying to help the injured. Do they capture any of the bad guys? Do the others stay there to guard the bad guy? Do they take the injured friends to the hospital? Chapter 10. Confronting Evil In this chapter, the hero finally discovers where the substitute has taken the mirror. The hero travels to the location with only one person as backup. The others had to stay behind for some reason. Perhaps they had to take care of an injured friend or to make sure captured bad guys didn't escape. The hero then confronts the substitute. He or she tries to get some answers as well as the mirror. Before the hero can get the mirror, someone steps forward to stop the hero. This might be one of the bad students or it might be someone else. Either way, that person is there to protect the substitute while the mirror gets packed away for transport. It might not even be a person. Perhaps it's a guard dog. Prompt 1. Describe how the hero discovers where the mirror is located, such as finding a note or picture that fell on the ground or by following one of the bad guys. Does the hero have some type of power that helps him or her find the mirror? Did the hero use the bad guy's phone to find it? Prompt 2. The hero goes to where the mirror was taken. Describe how he or she got there, such as by car, by walking, or some other means. How long does the trip take? Who goes with the hero? And why that character? Does the hero worry about the fight ahead or the friends left behind? Prompt 3. The hero enters the building where the mirror is located. Does the hero sneak into the building or burst inside? Does the friend go inside? Why do they split up? Does the friend stay with the car for a quick getaway? Do they split up to search the building faster? Prompt 4. Describe the hero finding the substitute packing up the mirror. The hero asks for answers about why they were given the powers. Why doesn't the hero try to take the mirror as soon as it is found? Does the hero want to learn how to break the curse, or is the hero reluctant to fight? Prompt 5. Describe the hero asking the substitute how to break the curse when another student steps forward, ready to fight. What does this bad guy look like? Does he look powerful or scary? How does the hero feel now that he or she will have to fight them both? Chapter 11, The Final Fight In this chapter, the hero must face his or her greatest challenge. Everything has been leading up to this moment. What will happen? In this chapter, the hero has to get past the substitute and the other person guarding the mirror. This proves too much for the hero. He or she is about to lose when he or she is saved at the last second. Unfortunately, during the fight, the mirror gets broken. The hero grabs a piece of the mirror and escapes with the person who helped him or her. The hero manages to escape and heads back to the cursed friend's house. Prompt 1. Describe the fight between the hero and the student who is stopping the hero from getting to the substitute and the mirror. Why is the battle so difficult for the hero? Is the bad guy that powerful? Add a lot of details to make sure the fight sounds exciting. Prompt 2. 
Describe the hero losing the fight until at the last moment he or she is saved by one of his or her friends who had followed him or her. What happened to make the hero start to lose? Who saved the hero at the last moment? Was the hero winning the fight when the substitute joined the battle? Prompt 3. Describe the mirror getting broken in the fight and them grabbing a big piece of the mirror before trying to escape. After the mirror is broken, do they decide they might as well leave with the mirror piece instead of fighting for no reason? Prompt 4. Describe the hero and his or her friend escaping with the mirror and how they make sure they are not followed by the bad guys. Do they meet up with their friends or did their friends already head back to the cursed friend's house? How far do the bad guys follow them? Prompt 5. Describe the hero and his or her friend going back to the cursed friend's house, including how they got there. How does the hero feel? Does he or she think the friend will still be cursed? Did everyone lose their powers, or did they keep them? Chapter 12. Back Home Again In the last chapter, you have to decide the fate of the cursed friend. Do you want the hero to save the friend, or will it be too late? If you enjoyed the prompts, you might want to leave the ending as a cliffhanger. For example, if they save the friend and still have their powers, the bad guys will probably have their powers as well. Will you have the substitute want revenge for the broken mirror? What did they do with the bad guys they had captured? Will the other bad guys want revenge as well? Don't forget that the students go to the same school as the bad guys and they might see them the next day. Make your readers be eager for your next book. Prompt 1. Describe the hero and friends gathering around the cursed friend who is in desperate need of help. How does the cursed friend look? How do the parents look? Are they hopeful the mirror will help or do they think it will not work? Prompt 2. Breaking the mirror did not break the curse. Describe the hero showing the piece of mirror to the cursed friend. Why do they show the friend the mirror? Do they hope that will break the curse the same way it gave them their powers? Prompt 3. Describe the hero telling the friend to visualize the curse being broken just like the mirror. That breaks the curse. Does the curse break immediately? Or does it happen slowly? How do they know the curse is actually broken? Prompt 4. Describe the friends having a celebration now that the curse is broken, but also wondering if they will lose their powers. If you chose not to break the curse on the friend, make sure you have the friends start crying instead of celebrating. Prompt 5. Describe what they decide to do with the mirror piece and have the hero wonder what will happen with the bad guys in the future. Do they talk about what might happen in the future? Or do they go home content now that their friend has been saved? Congratulations, you have now finished the book. Wait a few days and reread what you have written. Then correct any mistakes. After that, you have become an author.